Good evening, New York. It is so exciting to see you. It's great to be here. It is great to have uh, such wonderful energy in this room to have music uh, and wind turbines and lots of smiles uh, and hopefully lots of good conversation. So let me introduce myself. I am Abby Hopper. Uh, I have the privilege of serving as the director of the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management, which probably 99% of you had never heard of before uh, you were uh, excited about offshore wind. So we're really glad that you're here. We're really glad that you're participating. We're honored that you would share your evening and your time with us. Uh, let me just say a couple of thank yous. First of all, thank you for that kind introduction and the good work that you're about to do. Um, thank you to the folks that organized, those of you that came over as a large group. Uh, I'm sorry that I wasn't able to join you in Bryant Park, but, um, but I've heard great things and seen good pictures, and I hope it was inspiring and exciting for all of you. I've participated in many a rally in my day, and uh, there's nothing quite like it. So thank you for organizing folks to be here. Uh, thank you to the state of New York for your incredible leadership, the great policies you've put in place. Uh, and the vision you have for how to make offshore wind happen in your state to your mayor here in the great city of New York who is uh, changing, changing the world as we speak. Um, and then last but not least to the BOEM staff. I get to uh, take the train up, roll on in at 5.02, ask what I'm supposed to do and talk. These, these dear folk here at the front of the room and around the room have done all of the analysis, all of the hard work, all the communications planning, all of the meeting planning, all of the uh, outreach to date. And so I just want to take a moment to thank uh, the dedicated professionals uh, at BOEM. So thank you. So for those of you that don't know me, I, uh, I've had this job for about a year and a half. I spent four and a half years before that working for the great governor of the great state of Maryland, Martin O'Malley. Uh, to, yes. <laughs> Together, uh, he and I and the state legislature uh, passed the Offshore Wind Act of 2013, creating a market for offshore wind in Maryland. And so I am perhaps one of the most bullish people about the fate of offshore wind in the United States of America. And I'm really excited about the prospect here in the great state of New York. So uh, let me, I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about what we have done at BOEM. It's, um, it is a federal agency and so we have a lot of process and we have a lot of steps and a lot of, a lot of thinking and a lot of public input, um, but it's really critical to making sure that we get it right. These are huge infrastructure projects that we're gonna build in the ocean. Uh, we wanna make sure that we have the right environmental safeguards, we have the right technology, we have the right permitting construct. So, uh, we're going to talk about all of that. This action and this effort here in New York began in 2011. Uh, we have been working hard on it since. There are, um, not everyone loves what we're doing. There are people, people with very legitimate concerns. Commercial fishermen are concerned about the effects on fishing. You'll see some of the maps in the back about the data. Uh, the Coast Guard is concerned about the effects on the maritime industry, and we, we can talk about that, and we have maps that show where the traffic separation schemes are. Uh, and then some of the view shed, like what is this gonna look like from some of our state and national parks? And so, as you think about offshore wind, I encourage you to sort of think about all of these things. Understand that when, when we talk about um, navigating the many, many different interests and the many important stakeholders, that's what we're talking about. It, it sounds really buzz, buzzwordy, but we're talking about how we balance fishing interests and commercial interests uh, with what are critically important clean energy needs and carbon reduction needs. So I'm gonna sit down now. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna do two things though before I sit down. First of all, hold on, I have to unlock my phone. If you don't follow me on Twitter, you should because <laughs> you will get, uh, if you follow my work one, you will get, uh, an ongoing dialogue of my travel schedule, which is moderately interesting. But uh, you also will get uh, ongoing photos from every speaking engagement that I do. So I don't know, what's a good, just act like a turbine maybe. Everyone act like a turbine, I'm gonna take your picture. <laughs> All right, ooh wait, hold on, that's even better. No, I do not wanna be in the picture, but thank you. Uh, <laughs> And then secondly, and I will tweet that while I'm sitting up here. Secondly, um, you're all really smart, thoughtful, in interesting, and important people. And so I'm gonna give you all my cell phone number. If, you, if there's something that you think of after you leave tonight, a question you have that didn't get answered, you can contact any one of us, but you can also contact me on this government-issued device. Uh, my number, if you're ready for it. 
All right, I'm waiting. It is 571-230-5792. 571-230-5792. So I would encourage you to ask whatever questions you have tonight and, and know that we are here to answer questions going forward. So thank you all for your participation.